presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, comment allez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate you growling on problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done the gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great weekend. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If the agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 236. NASDAQ's down 16, S&P's up 12 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down to $6.90 at 1915 an ounce. We have silver down 30 cents, $22.75 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 22 cents, $69.78 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note down one full point plus four ticks at 112.04. The 30-year off two points plus two ticks at 126.06 and king dollar. King dollar up 422 ticks, trading 103, 327, euros 108, yens 144, and the British pound is at 126 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, if we take a look at the SPY first, okay? What you have is that, you know, we, you get shot volume, 45 million. We, yesterday we did uh, 75, the day before we did 72. But we're going after this uh, high of 443. That's a high volume high. I expect it's going to get hit. Now, that's, let's say, the next week, week and a half, right? Now we go intraday, though. Intraday, where my head is, and I'll show you why, is that we're, the S&P is going to probably close like two points up or something. And we're at 12 up right now. So this trade is just like we traded yesterday. And this is holiday trading, folks, okay? This is what this is more than anything. So we got all the way up to the 44.37 today. Now, you can see how light the volume was. It was only 19,000 contracts, right? Then we came off of that. First 10-minute bar was 24,000. Next one was 30,000. We hit a low with 40, no, with 20, 24,000 contracts. Because we don't have a high volume high, I suspect, you know, we're going to mess around and try to get into this high volume low coming into the close, which is 4418, which is uh, 12 points lower than we are right now. The NQs, we go to the NQs, the same setup. Now, what the NQs have, which, so there's, Harmony in this marketplace, I hear, because the NQs, they actually have two high volume lows. The first one that was generated out here is at that 15.028. Then we got up much higher, no volume up there. And in fact, you can see, now this gets pretty cool. You can see this one here. This was actually going into 38,000 contracts. And we did nine how's that okay then we came down and see how we came down with volume again we came down with twelve thousand. it wasn't as much as the first one but there's just no there's no upward momentum there that that's what you want to get out of this more than anything so when you don't have that bottom line more than likely we're going to get down the other side gold gold contract you know we were talking about the abc structures and 1902 was one of the numbers and sure enough man we went to 1900 today um, you've done 194,000 contracts. That's low contract volume, rejected lower price. So we'll see whether that's going to be it. 
And if we go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar out here. There we go. Not this one. We take a look at the dollar, DXY. And the dollar we have that took out the swing. They're at 103.335. It really hasn't given it up. So we'll see if that can get to higher price. And notes and bonds. Notes and bonds are the big number. There's no doubt. You talk about some movement out here today. This is some um, heavy, heavy movement. Uh, okay, so it's light volume, though. 1.7 million. See, this is what happens on holidays also. So the one point... Well, interesting. 1.77. Oh, it's close to an ABC down. Let me look at this. Because you need 1.778, and we're at 1.76 for an ABC structure down. Let's go see what the TLT is looking like. That's down on some volume, but it's going into 29 million, and right now you still got 27 million. So that's going to need more volume in order to basically... Um, get into lower price but there's no doubt you you know there's some action out here we had the gdp come in um they this is the second time they revised it and the gdp is running hot compared to what the uh, the first couple numbers were we're running, we're running over two 3.8 3.8 right now is the 10-year yield if we go take a look at some of the high volume equities out here we, well, let's go into the NDX first. Uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. You got Lucid up 7%. Uh, Pace Car is up 2%. You got, uh, what is this one? Oh, GE Healthcare. That's up 1.8. Taken away from it. Micron's down 4. That's interesting because that, uh, that was up pretty good. Mercado Libre is off 3.2%. You get Datadog down 26 Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise out here, we got uh, Goldman putting 62 positive points, Visa 40, JP Morgan 30. Let's go to Earl and Seminole. Hey, Earl, what's going on, brother? Earl. Yeah. How you doing? Great. I'm calling to wish you a happy uh, 4th of July. Well, thank you so much. Happy 4th of July to you and to everyone else out there. Love it. Yeah, me too. Thank yeah, I wanted you to take a look at VGC. I ha I'm a shareholder and haven't had an update. So let's take a look at it. We get VGZ, the, the low of VGZ, for, we're almost at it, 45 cents, the high 75. You know, it, what's going to matter here, Earl, is that, you know, if gold is at a low right now, well, then you get some action. This has been on a one-way trip, folks, okay? Down from 75 cents to 50, but that's what small stocks do. You know, it's, it's, coming, it, it's coming down with light volume. I know that doesn't mean a lot, Earl, but, you know, well, it means a lot to me, but... Um, you know, it's still in good shape, man. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, well, when you get these... that's what I was calling about. I channel traded. Yeah, when you get well, these pullbacks, man, I mean... Then you know, I buy it. Yeah, yeah. Cooking, brother. Happy 4th. Have a Thanks, great one. Man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, Tigers folks. And tigresses. Get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait. This sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN. Educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. A Dow. Dow Industrial is trading up 239. We get the Nasdaq down 21. S&P is up, uh, up 12. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And you can reach Tim, folks, every trading day at Ord.com. No, Ord-Oracle.com. That's Ord-Oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's happening, brother? Well, thanks for having me on again. So, did you get my charts? I have your charts, man. We're grinding higher. I got them. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep going. So, no hurry here. But I, I put this chart out at uh, the bottom, of the, the chart number one, the bottom window. This is just a, uh, this is a weekly chart, and it goes back to, I don't know, 2018, whatever it is. Okay. But it goes back several years. And, um... What I want to point out is uh, it, it really works good at, at finding where the tops are. It, oh. okay. it doesn't work so well on a daily, but it does work really well on a weekly. And what happens, what you got to look for is the market's going up, making higher highs on the SPX on the weekly time frame. The SPX VIX ratio will make lower highs. And that's your key that some sort of a high is being approached. And uh, in the pink areas um, are the times where the SPs made higher highs and the SPX VIX ratio made lower highs. I see. And right now, um, you, know, you know, if you go over to the right window here, we're pretty much not showing any divergence at all. That's that blue area I got yes. outlined. The right. market kind of went down over the last couple of weeks, and so did the uh, SPX VIX ratio. What's important here, say, uh, say over the next week or two or whatever, the SPs go up and makes new highs, and that ratio doesn't. Now, that'd be your warning that uh, uh, some sort of a high is being approached. That's also, pretty cool, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, I do a little bit of study of seasonality. I'm not great at it. Okay. Uh, you can always – but anyhow, starting, I think, July 27th to October 27th, 
uh, is a time of, of 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 all the seasonal periods during the year. That's the weakest period. I see. Uh, so okay. that's th- three months period. So, as, uh, say we do rally into end of uh, September, and you're noticing that you know the SPs are hitting new highs, and the SPX VIX ratio is not. Uh, and plus, you got seasonality up top of that. Then you're probably heading for trouble. Uh, how big a trouble? You really don't know. You know, it could be just a sideways move. Um, I think this market uh, will end a lot higher than it is right now by year end. Uh, but there's a three month period we're heading right into here. You know, it's about a month away or there thereabouts. That could cause some trouble. So, but I really don't see any. You know, since this is a weekly chart, I really don't see any trouble right now because there's really no divergence going on uh, with the VIX. Right. Uh, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking we're okay there. Uh, flip next next to the chart. Yeah, well, two. I, I can tell you too, Tim. You know, I, I feel like we've had gifts from the trading gods. You know, I mean, I, <laughs> I do a lot of intraday trading, and <laughs> this morning, you know, before what I'm talking about specifically is I I think I told you they have these options now that expire in one day, and I trade them every day. And so I was so happy okay. when, when the futures went down before the 9.30 bell hit because I says, oh, here we go. Thank you, trading gods. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. Like, yeah. I know how that works. So, yeah, it's okay. pretty good. So we go so, to the next chart, right? All right. Next chart. Uh, this is – so you got the bigger picture. It looks okay. It's like nothing super divergence going on. So that doesn't say the market has to go up or down. But it does give you a kind of clear view of that, like there's no big divergence going on. So you look at the smaller picture. This is a daily chart of the SPYs. And what I did over the last couple of weeks, uh, all those blue numbers there are basically the trend closes. And I've got a couple of tick closes in there Yes. also. Uh, panic is actually fuel for the market. And the more panic you can find, the more fuel the market has to rally higher. So ideally, you want a lot of panic in the market to really get a rally going. And so I measure panic with the trend. You know, the trend, anything above 1.2 on a close is considered a panic reading. And the higher that number is, the more panic there is in the market. And the more days of panic reading you get, the more energy that market has or fuel it has to rally. Uh, so I listed all those days uh, going back over the last couple of weeks. There's about... Um, yeah, the markets consolidate for, but you know, well, we're still kind of in the consolidation. I guess we really haven't busted out of here. But over the last probably ten days, we had basically seven days, or thereabouts, or maybe six days of panic reading on the close. No, I can see so that, the, last, particularly last week, Tim. Right? Those are big readings, yeah. man. One point six, one point two, one point two, one point six. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yesterday we had one point two four. And we had a 487 down tick reading, uh, you know, and that's an update. <laughs> so, yeah, right. You know, people were selling into it. Now, now uh, folks, so did you, did, Tim, can you just say that? Listen to this, folks. Can you just say that one more time? Because this is really cool. Just the part that you're yeah. talking the 1.2. Well, yes, yeah, yesterday was, the market was up, and we had a trend close of 1.24 showing panic. We had 487 down tick reading. Right. You know, right. that, that's an update. Right. So they were selling into the rally. You know, yes. we were true. We we're going into a July 4th holiday and people are probably worried, you know, trying to get out of the market before you know, the holiday, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but there's panic in the market. You know, the bottom window there is the five day average. And we hit right on the money. Uh, 1.4 here, I think. Um, let's see. Thursday. So it'd be like Monday or or Friday of last week, and the two-day has been up around that 1.5 for a couple of different uh, ticks there. So we got quite a bit of energy. My point is we got quite a bit of energy to drive this market higher. Right. So if we're already having panic on an extremely modest decline, you know, if you do a Fibonacci relationship, which I forgot to do on this chart, you know, we're, we're probably at 31.8% uh, you know, or less retracement of that rally that started back in, in May. Yeah. Uh, so we had a very shallow retracement. Panic came right in, right off that top. So the market really can't go down. Uh, you know, it may go sideways here, but you know, here we got 
enough energy to drive this market higher. And there's so, no doubt, um, you know, what, and, and there's been plenty of times that, you know, I've been bearish beyond belief, but because we've been doing this so long, it's really hard to be bearish, folks, around July 4th, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> because yeah. for some reason, man, they love driving the market on July 4th. It just, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you know, it's... Well, actually, there's a statistic on that. Uh, this year, uh, I forgot how that statistic went, but there's an 87% chance, I think it is, July uh, 4th will be or the day before July 4th will be an update. I know we got a, 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 a commercial coming here. Yeah, I'll just, be, just stay right there for a second. We're going to come right back. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 246, NASDAQ's down 19, SPs are up 13. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. We are talking markets. You can always get hold of Tim, too, folks, at Ord dash oracle.com uh, so i have the second chart up here tim all right um let me go back to it um oh do you want me to go to the third you know, oh, no we couldn't have I, I guess we're pretty much done with this i just wanted to show point out the panic and i wrote down the yes the print closes and some tick closes and okay cool. and so we got everything you normally you know if you're coming down, you don't get panic until you're getting near low. I know. And we didn't really go get down much, and we already got panic. So this is 
some sort of a minor wave here, and this minor wave is done. So um, I, maybe uh, the, the bombs are in. You know, I also have a note there that says up six days in a row going to that uh, we could go last Thursday, and that particular market will be higher within uh, five days, 83% of the time. Well, we're, you know, it's been over probably five, six days now, and we're still not higher. But once you go up, you know, five, six days in a row, market shows a lot of momentum. And momentum, uh, along with panic, kind of rules what the market does. Yes. So there's nothing that I can see that's bearish on the market, plus the VIX is staying real low, way below minus 17. So there's nothing wrong at the market right now. Uh, that may change in a month, but I think we're pretty clear until we start uh, heading into that seasonal week period, end of July. Uh, sure. And that, you know, October, November, or not October, but uh, August, September, and maybe part of October could be kind of yeah, you know, right. w- less than desirable up for the title. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Good trading, though. So, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> okay, so you know, something I'm watching for because everybody's kind of looking for a, a top here. You know, at least the people I'm talking to, I'm thinking, I don't, I don't see it. At least not yet. So, right. I don't know. But, no, we, we hey, listen. The, you know, the bottom three. line is, is that if you just look at, you know, between the Fed raising rates, between the amount of action upside already. Um, you know, we both know you can go higher than a lot, lot longer than people actually think. That's that's yeah. if I learned anything, man, that's the reality. So, right now, the next yeah, one, I mean, let's let's get our heads wrapped around this because this has been, you know, because you know, there was an ABC structure down, Tim, and the gold contract it was 1902 and we hit 1900 today. So, it's kind of intriguing here. Now, we're going to be talking right. gold, folks, All right. I, yeah, I think I showed this chart last week. I can't remember. But anyhow, the bottom window is what's uh, doing the signal. And the bottom window is a 50-day average. So uh, that's, what, two and a half months of trading? Yes. 50, you know, we got about 21 days. So that'd be four, you know, about, that's right. about yep. two and a half months of trading is a 50-day average. And so I took a, the 50-day average up-down volume advanced decline indicator percent. And I did a chart and went back far as I could go, which is um, about 1910 or 2010 there. Right. And every time this one got below minus 20, uh, you were setting at a low or close to a low. And the thing didn't really go up. It just went sideways. And we hit that uh, minus 20. We're actually still pretty close to it. Uh, today we're at 1975 or 19. Yeah, 75, wherever that number is. And, but over the last week or so, we've been pretty much below minus 20. And GDX so far hasn't done squat. I mean, uh, what this does, it says you probably hit a low in this vicinity, and you're probably going to flip sideways. So that's what that chart says. Uh, it, it could go up, but it doesn't necessarily. What I'm watching is on the next page. Okay. So... The 50-day average hit a low, so you're in the vicinity of some sort of low. Yeah. So now you got you got okay. When, when does the rally come? Well, this is the uh, the bottom one of the 18 18 day average. So it's not the 50-day average is a lot shorter. It's, it's about a week and a half. Okay. Or 18 days. No, that's a that's a little less than a month. But anyhow, I did a bunch of different time moving averages, and anyhow, the 18 day seems to work well, uh, the best. And the next, you know, the, the bottom window is the advanced decline, 18-day average. The next window up from the bottom is the 18-day average up-down volume. When both of those are above minus 10, which is in the blue area, yes. you got a rally. When both of them are below uh, minus 10, which is the, the pink area, you're in a decline. Right. So if you notice, we the up-down volume, which is second uh window up from the bottom, it went below uh, minus 10 back in April and uh, kind of just flipped sideways. It didn't really go down with the market. It just went sideways. And the uh, advanced decline, which is the bottom window, never fell below minus 10 until late May. And right now, both of them are below minus 10. Well, the rally will start when both those indicators close above minus 10. 
and we're sitting around about minus 15, 18 area right now. But what was kind of unusual, both these indicators are going sideways, and they've been going, instead of going down with the market, they can pretty much flip sideways here. Yes. Which is kind of rare. So to me, that's kind of underlying strength. So I'm thinking with the 50-day average telling the market's at a low, uh, the rally hasn't started yet, but uh, I think it could be a, a decent rally because I think there's some energy in the market here because these are are kind of not really drifting down with the market. They're kind of holding steady right below minus 10 on both of them. Yeah. You know, so, it's interesting, Tim, when we look at the GDX there, yeah, I'll put this chart just over here for a second so the folks can see it. Um, you know, because the, so the, the GDX right now, right, we got down to a price point of 28.76 today. Now that's coming right into the March 13th sign of strength as we came off that last bottom, which is really cool. And that, that had 56 million shares traded. And we, we, we rejected that lower price today with 14 million. Now you're up 30 cents. So okay, you're you're going back to first part of March off that bottom. I am, and it it, it, right. it literally went right into it. Yep. It went into this bar. There was two different bars off that bottom that had big strength, and the bar that it's into today that it rejected had uh, you know, um, it had fifth hold it. It had fifty six million shares. Never mind. I said yeah, fifty six million shares versus fourteen today, and you can see right. the way this is set up. You know, bottom line is that. Even though the gold contract was down big, this ended up rejecting everything. So it's intriguing, you know, in the south. Right. Yeah. There's another thing too about uh, uh, GDX and gold. The market uh, uh, seasonality-wise is going to enter a weak period end of July. Gold, on the other hand, is entering a strong seasonal period of mid-July all the way into October. So what would kind of be interesting, the, the market may take a rest, the equity market may take a rest, and the gold market may perform, you know, in that time frame. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I had some other indicators that gave a target, you know, in August, September, a high around 44. I'm thinking that still could be a, uh, uh, still could be on the table. We'll have to wait and see, though. Yeah. Hey, we'll just wait right there. We'll do another segment. Stay right there, folks. Tim right. and I are coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now. Give me one second, yeah. Dow Industrials trading up to 218. Nasdaq's down 18. S&Ps are up 11. Don't forget about the Target all sale, folks. It's right on the front page of TFNN. It's the 4th of July Target sale. Stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 224. NASDAQ is uh, down 21. S&P's uh, up 11. We're talking about our members, the Tim Ord, and we are talking gold. You know what's amazing, Tim, is that they always make <laughs> gold uh, a hard buy, don't they? I mean... It, yeah. it's, it's great when you get it, yeah. but it always seems to be a hard buy. Yeah, yeah it, it, that's why I, it, it is. With, it, to me, when I, I go into trade and stuff, if I'm not really kind of worried about something, it can turn out ugly. Uh, usually the best trades I've made when I was just, you know, scaring the poop out of me to put that trade in. Exactly. You know, but it, it takes practice to really buy in when everybody's screaming and yelling and yep. and you know, stuff hitting the fan. Uh, a lot of times those turn out to be the best trade. And then nothing like we had that last low, you know, uh, right. This, you know, the, the one we're coming off of. Yes. Um, you know, I actually bought the day before the low, um, and the market gap down, I held through that gap and then the gap, uh, the gap down now and the market rallied back and that was pretty much the low. And I sold two days later. <laughs> this, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody called me up, told me something, and it scared me so much. I sold, and then I had to buy back about, I don't know, it seemed like a point or a percent and a half higher. So it was, it was too. But anyhow, that's that's how life works. But and that's how you gold works, panic, folks. You don't have a low. That's so. right. Because those gold equities, folks, which Tim is talking about, we almost went up 100%. Just to, if you're, if, you know, the folks in the gold market know that. I mean, those equities just took off like a rocket ship. I mean, an eco, uh, uh, Anglo gold, that thing went from, you know, $17 up to 28 with nonstop, just boom. And then, of course, we're now we're down to 21 again. But, you know, that's how they trade, man. That's how they trade. Yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah it's pretty wicked. But remember back in the 2000, yes. uh, you know, when we were, uh, you know, talking about it or we were actually doing it, you know, the market just went straight up and went straight up for years. It did. You know, that market didn't peak out in, uh, what, 2012, I think it was. Yeah. And, and those was, stocks, folks, started at 30 and 40 cents. That was a trip. <laughs> that was a real trip. Oh, Remember, yeah. what was a, a BGO, right? <laughs> yeah, BGO. Yeah. Just, I think it started out as a quarter. Yep. And, um, yep. and uh, yeah, 15 bucks or something. Yep, or, exactly. Or thereabouts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, at one point I had 60,000 shares of that. Yeah. No, so, listen, do you remember how many calls we used to get, man? Oh, my God. That was like an unbelievable. It really was. Yeah. So when we're looking at this, okay, so the, the chart that I have, one second, let me make sure. I have... This is the fourth chart, right? Is that the one? one second. Yeah, the fourth chart is that this is a short-term view of GDX. Right, right. Okay, cool. Right, right, right. So yeah. I, I took the uh, a GDX up-down volume, and I took the GDX uh, advanced decline, both on an 18-day average. So this has a good, what do you call it? It, it has a good, um, it shows all the energies necessary to read what this stock will do as far right. as GDX is concerned. So um, so as right now, it's uh, on a short-term basis, 
it's still in the bearish camp, not real bearish, but yeah. Uh, but the 50-day average is on a buy signal, or you know, so yep. it's, it said it's top. So I'm just waiting for this uh, short-term stuff to kick in, and I, I'm thinking that's going to kick in probably in July, probably first part of July, I think, and um, that could rally possibly in the October time frame. So we'll see how it goes. But if you looked at um, Go back to chart three. Okay. Which is the bigger picture again. Yes. See, those signals, when they come, um, they're not, you know, you get about one a year. Right. You know, over the last three years, you got, so you're not looking for a one or two month rally here. You're probably looking for a multi month lease rally because last time we got one was uh, mid 2022. You know, if you look where that last signal was. Yes. And that signal lasted, um, um, I don't know what, a good year. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we were, exactly. Yeah, you know, or close to a year. And so th this next one, so I'm, I'm thinking on a, on a bigger time scale, this, we, we could ride this signal for a while, I'll put it that way. There'll be some corrections along the way, but the major part of the low uh, is probably be, making right in this vicinity. And, and what does happen, folks, is that all this time goes quicker than you think. You know, I remember the uh, the the, uh, the first time uh, I don't know it was I think it was you actually that said, "Oh yeah, we're going to do this for like two or three months." And I'm looking, I'm saying, "I got to wait two or three months, man. What are we? What are you talking about here, man? <laughs> do you know what I mean?" And, and I get it now, of course. Okay. But, you know, it's always intriguing that patience is the name of the game. I mean, it absolutely is, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you got to kind of wait it out. You got to trust your signals, and and the hard part of this game is is trying to find the right, I guess, technical analysis. Yeah, uh, that you can rely on. Right, that you can stick your neck out and and not get your neck chopped off. Right, you know, and right. And over the years, I I kind of got lucky back in what well, when we first met. You know, I was kind of doing that tick thing yes. on the on the close or in the day. I was kind of mastering that. Right. And so I just started going off to everybody else when everybody else was panicking. I was buying that's uh, correct stuff, and I kind of honed that down and and kind of expanded from there. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, pretty but cool, man. It's, it's, it's been it's been it's been a been a learning experience. I'm still learning, you know. And that's what, hey, that's what keeps us all young, man. That's what's so cool about yeah. the market. That's, you know, uh, that is what's so cool about the market, no doubt. So, hey, where where are you off to on July 4th? What are you doing? Oh, well, actually, uh, uh, going back to the in-laws in, in Colorado, so Don and I are nice. uh, leaving um, Saturday morning. and That'll be fun. And we're coming back, uh, uh, actually, 4th of July, so. Okay. Uh, uh, that's where I'm going. Where are you going? Where the, well, actually, we're right out my window. We have the Vinoy. So <laughs> it's, it's you know, you haven't seen this office yet, but we're literally, I'm, I'm literally looking at the water right now. So there's a beautiful hotel wow. there. We're all hanging down the hotel for the weekend. So that day, the fireworks are there. You know, I got the, a couple boats down there, so we'll have some fun. Um, I got Tommy coming in. With the grandchildren, so you know we're gonna have some fun here, and and of course we oh, have good. four days off, which makes it like insane. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to come down there and see you pretty. You know, you, you, you're years. gonna have to, man. We're gonna have some fun. Let's let's do that. Let's definitely do that, man. You know, no doubt. Yeah, you gotta love it. So, so listen, what is the weather like where you are right now? Uh, it's, it's not too bad. Um, it's probably eighty-five. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not. It's nice. Uh, usually July gets yeah, uh, gets sultry and gets uh, sticky. And, yeah, like everywhere. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, it gets. But right now it's, it's it's eighty-five, but it's not really humidity here yet. So that runs through July to August. Uh, September starts cooling down again. Okay. It's pretty nice, like eighty-five again, but the humidity's gone. La Larry. So, uh, so Larry lives in Tucson. And folks, this is an update for, for you for Larry too. Larry had a took, Larry took a plane out of there today. It was 115 degrees, and his allergies are killing him. So he's going up to the White Mountains, <laughs> and he's going to be in New Hampshire visiting all you folks in New Hampshire. He's going to the White Mountains for the 
right now until July 4th, so he can get rid of the. Can you imagine 115 degrees? Oh my God. No, I can't. I no. can't. Tim, you oh. have a great 4th of July, a safe one. Look forward to speaking to you next week. All right, thank you. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So, so we get Nike coming out with numbers after the close. Uh, Nike looks higher to me. That's the bottom line. You know, it doesn't have much volume today, but you can see you've had a couple signs of strength here. You know, you had a sign of strength, you pulled back to the sign of strength, it had volume on this, it was a pullback, but not a, not a uh, 14 million versus uh, 17. That says uh, it wants higher price. So let's take a look at what they're saying. They're saying they're looking for 12.6 billion top line, 66 cents in the bottom line. Uh, CMG, so Chipotle, uh, this one here, now the low is 1233, the high is 2100. This stock is something else, man. So this one here, I would say this is going to stay in this consolidation. That's how this looks to me. Let me pull this back a little bit more. We put it on a monthly. You know, it broke its high. But there's no, nothing up here, man. So this, you got to be really careful with this one, man. That's, I'd be really, if you own it, you know, let's see, you got a sharp position of 3.19%. That's, you know, 
You get, yeah, 3%. 3% is not bad, but when you look at the, the volume stat out here, the volume stat is not great. That's, that's the real bottom line. Uh, Market-wise out here, let's go see what this uh, S&P did. We were still up, I believe, 13 points. Yeah, yeah, 14. So market, market held. This market's going to go higher the next couple of days, folks. This, uh, these highs, these highs, they want to be taken. And it's well. And what you also have is this. You got to remember something. So you have the July Fourth holiday, but you have window dressing too. And and yeah, and it's the end of the quarter also. So you're going to have a lot of shuffling of portfolios, monster portfolios. And, uh, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. But that's telling me it's going to be positive. We'll, and we'll see in the shuffle if they do go into the gold stocks. That's where it's going to get interesting, folks. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Building